presenting Mobility Map. My name is Rahul Rajaram. I'm a second year computer science and engineering student with a minor in statistics, passionate about graphic design. And I'm Sam Kumar. I'm also a second year double majoring in economics and statistics, and my passion is econometric and data analysis. The problem we're choosing to tackle related to Honda's mobility challenge is lack of public transport across the United States. The lack of accessibility to high quality public transport negatively impacts travel convenience, the environment, and even our health. And so we see that according to the American Hospital Association, 3.6 million Americans do not get non-emergency medical care because of transportation issues every single year. And 4.6 million metric tons of CO2 are emitted from each average gasoline vehicle per year. So our solution is a web application that's easy to use, powered by statistical frameworks projected to help project bus stop placement. And so our model consists of a benefit and cost framework. The benefit framework consists of environmental costs of cars, the cost of foregone medical trips, the cost of foregone work trips, and vehicle ownership and maintenance costs for cars. The cost framework consists of capital and operational expenses for buses. Our application consists of an easy to use form that requires basic details regarding public transit preferences. These preferences are inputted into the previously mentioned statistical formulas that provide us a benefit and cost per user, and we group them into different neighborhoods. Then a map displays these request hotspots and using the cost benefit analysis ratio, recommending neighborhoods where public transportation is needed and is going to be used. On the left, we have an example of our form. It's very simple, easy to use. The address field is even auto-filled most times for convenience. On the right, we have a simple map of Cleveland, Ohio, our target area for this study, and a list of the most effective neighborhoods to place bus stops given the data. And so why choose mobility map? Existing surveys assess transportation use and the ab impacts of its absence. They, do, they often overlook accessibility issues and don't identify where new public transport should be introduced. Whereas Mobility Map focuses on integrating public transport into communities. We empower individuals to suggest bus stop locations as they know their communities best. Our future plans are to have stricter neighborhood definitions and better neighborhood projections better projecting where bus stops in what neighborhoods they should go through and where they should be placed. Additionally, we want to incorporate age and net income into the cost benefit model to better represent underserved and disabled communities. Additionally, we wanna have better visualizations for improved user experience and accessibility. Throughout this project, we learned many lessons, including that we should read previous research to get a good baseline for our future projects. Most of this project was based off of a previous research paper. And we, this is our first time using cost-benefit analysis and applying economics in public transport issues.